King Vaughn came in the game telling his story. With his crazy flow and storyline lyrics, probably makes him one of the best storytelling rappers. But King Vaughn hasn't had the easiest come up, almost being convicted of murder and two counts of attempted murder. King Vaughn is even lucky to have made it out the bloody streets of Chicago. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the criminal history and biography of King Vaughn. Devon Daquan Bennett, aka King Vaughn, was born on August 9, 1994 in the Parkway Garden area of Chicago, Illinois, better known as O Block, the most dangerous block in Chicago, King Vaughn is associated with the BDs, which is the Black Disciples, an infamous Chicago gang that is known for their violence against rival gang members, the GDs. King Vaughn grew up and was raised by his mother and his stepfather. His mother and father wasn't together when he was born and his father was in jail throughout his life. He says he met him when he was about eight years old, but his father died soon after getting out of jail. He mentions in an interview that him and his stepfather's relationship was pretty good, but growing up in the streets of Chicago took a hold of King Vaughn quick, only at the age of 15, from robbing and stealing to shootouts. King Vaughn was arrested at this age for his first charge of armed robbery and carjacking and did a couple months in boot camp having all the charges dropped and King Vaughn being so young he continued to live a street life and carry guns but King Vaughn got locked up again not too long after for having a gun and got 15 months getting out again but going back not too long later for criminal damage to property and reckless conduct. Plus, it looks like they had a warrant out for his arrest too. Getting arrested Saturday, June 17th, 2014, and then getting released Sunday, June 8th, 2014. But a little bit over a month later, King Vaughn got arrested again for two counts of attempted murder and the shooting death of Malcolm Stuckey. Davon Bennett, aka King Vaughn, 19 years old, was arrested and charged with one count of murder and two counts of attempted murder for the May 19th shooting in the 5700 block of South LaSalle Street, authorities said. Plus, the guy that King Vaughn was with, Michael Wade, 23, was previously charged with two counts of attempted murder, authorities said. Bennett and Wade left the party in a gray vehicle, but returned about 45 minutes later and parked in an alley near the home. Prosecutors said the men allegedly got out the car with loaded guns and hit it to the front of the residence. Stucky, 19 years of age, and two other people were sitting on the front porch when two gentlemen approached, authorities said. Bennett and Wade opened fire on the porch, according to prosecutors, and added that Stucky and other men attempted to flee down LaSalle Street, but were shot. Stucky was shot in the head and died later that day, according to Cook County Medical Examiners. The 23-year-old man who attempted to run down the street and 24-year-old man who attempted to run inside were both wounded, police said. And after the shooting, Bennett and Wade ran back to the car and fled. Wade admitted to the police that he went to the party to act as muscle for King Vaughn, who was going to confront a guy who was steady eyeballing him. Wade further admitted to firing a gun 15 to 16 times at one of the victims. More than 20 shell casings were recovered. King Vaughn ended up doing three years in prison for this incident but later beating all the charges for the incident. King Vaughn says when they said he wasn't guilty, it was a crazy feeling for him. Plus, while he was in there, he was playing around with rapping, but wasn't taking it too serious. But he says when he got out about a month later, 
he says he was in Dirk's basement when he made his first song. Dirk told him and Zoo to come to his crib after they beat their case. Zoo is King Von's homie that beat his case around the same time as King Von beat his case. With two different cases, but same charges, which is pretty crazy. And Dirk helping Vaughn through the way made his first song named Beat That Body. Dirk approving the song was fire, King Vaughn decided to take rap serious, dropping his first song of August 2018 named Problems. And after he dropped it, his city went crazy. With over 5.5 million views of this recording, King Vaughn seeing his true potential decided to drop his next song named Beat That Body. Featuring his right hand man, Zoo. This song has over 3.9 million views of this recording. And then King Von dropped Crazy Story. And this song put King Von on the map and really solidified him as an artist. With him truly telling a crazy story throughout the song, really makes you feel like you in the song with him. And he dropped this on December 31st, 2018. And the OG version has over 17 million views. But not too long later, he did a remix with Little Dirt that did even better with over 40 million views of this recording. Then King Von went to drop many more songs and albums, including all three different parts of Crazy Story and three different albums, including Grandson, LaVon James, and Welcome to Old Block. Another time King Vaughn was arrested was back in 2019, where Atlanta police found probable cause to arrest Lil Dirt and King Vaughn on five felonies. Warrants were issued for Lil Dirt and King Vaughn in connection with a shooting that happened in February outside of an Atlanta restaurant, The Varsity, where Lil Dirt dropped a song around the same time named Turn Myself In, where he professes his innocence and directly addresses his recent legal troubles. Lil Dirk and King Vaughn turned themselves in on May 30th. Found out he had a warrant. He was actually on tour. Once I heard, I immediately came back. He's willing to turn himself in and take care of what he needs to take care of. He immediately um, cast the tour. He's got a multi-million dollar salary, music career going. Did you do it? Did you shoot this man? Did you commit the other crimes of which you're accused? Um, no. Warrants involving an incident in February on North Avenue involved charges including criminal attempt to commit murder and aggravated assault. One document indicates an Atlanta police investigator said to the best of his knowledge, Banks was employed or associated with a criminal street gang to conduct or participate in gang activity, shooting at the victim while co-defendants shot and robbed him. Is he involved in a gang? No. They say at 5.49 a.m. February 5th, Witnesses saw 23-year-old John Witherspoon in a verbal altercation with an unidentified group of men. Shortly after the verbal altercation, 18 shots were fired at Witherspoon, who was hitting the thigh. He ran across the street to the one cigar bar and lounge where the staff called an ambulance for him. Witherspoon was admitted to the hospital in serious condition. At the time, detectives said cameras captured the crime, but Lil Dirk and King Vaughn were confident that the evidence would be on their side. The judge granted King Vaughn and Lil Dirk bond for $250,000, and I believe the case is still going. If you know, comment below. But despite all of King Vaughn's music success, King Vaughn was shot and killed on November 6 of 2020 in Atlanta, Georgia. It was around 3.20 a.m. when King Vaughn approached Quando Rondo in the parking lot at a hookah lounge in Atlanta, Georgia, where the two ended up fighting. And it looks like in the video, King Vaughn was getting the best of Quando Rondo. But as the fight occurred, Timothy Leakes, Quando Rondo's right-hand man, got out a white SUV and shot King Vaughn one time in the back, leaving him in critical condition. King Vaughn's manager says, on the way to the hospital, one of the people that was in the back was panicking and King Vaughn was the calm one and trying to calm everybody down. Unfortunately, later on in surgery, King Vaughn died 
unsure if Quando Rondo was being charged or anything, but Timothy Leakes, his right hand man, was charged with first degree murder and is an ongoing case. King Vaughn wasn't in any relationship at the time of his death, but in the past used to be with the rapper Asian Doll, who has really expressed her feelings online throughout this process. But King Vaughn had two children and unsure of their situation, but King Vaughn's family would get all of his music royalties. And throughout this whole time, Lil Durk has deleted his Instagram and hasn't spoke out any about the situation. It is very unfortunate that somebody so young and talented had to lose their life over something so simple. But my prayers go out to his family. And in no kind of way was this video made to disrespect King Vaughn or create any kind of tension. Just to give a background about his life and his criminal history and to keep his name alive. But that'll be about it for King Vaughn. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down there in the comments who y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.